Welcome back to Peak Performance Guitars series on 30 chords to be able to play 99% of all the songs you ever want to learn how to play. I'm Dean Kay. Thank you for joining me. There's only five chords left, and in this lesson, we're going to cover four of them. Let's go ahead and just jump right in. What we're, the chords we're going to learn today are D major 7, another really pretty jazzy chord. Then there's E sus, E suspended. It's also a pretty chord. Then we're going to go with F sharp minor. That's probably going to be the hardest chord you learn today. And then finally, G5. Uh, some guys call it modal G. Uh, that's usually, that's usually uh, jazz players who call it that. The rest of us just call it a G5. All right, let's go ahead and go to the D major seven. This is an easy chord. You play it with one finger. Strings six and five are silent in this, in this chord. And we're gonna start with string number four is played open. So that's the D string played open. Then we're gonna take finger number one and we're gonna lay it across strings three, two, and one on the second fret. I'm just gonna roll that finger backwards like we've been doing with the bar chords. And we want all three of those strings playing. All right, so D, the, four, the fourth string, the third string, second string, first string. And then we have that jazz sound again. That, that really rich uh, major seven sound. It, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's thick, it's mouth-watering, it's, it's, it's soothing, it's calming. There you go. Very pretty. All right, so that's D major seven. Next, we're gonna move on to uh, E suspended. Some, sometimes you'll see it written E suspended fourth. Sometimes you'll, uh, you'll hear it called E suspended fourth. You might see it written E, uh, uppercase E, and then lowercase S-U-S-4. Uh, and then other times you, you'll just see it E, uh, capital E, and then, lower, and then lowercase S-U-S. They both mean the same thing, or they all mean the same thing, and it's E suspended. And the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and grab the E major chord uh, that, that we learned near the beginning of this series. We've played it a number of different times now. And then we're gonna take our fourth finger and we're gonna put it right beside our third finger on the second fret of the third string. So now we, what we have going on is we have the, the sixth string is played open. And then our second finger is on the, uh, on the fifth string on the second fret. And then our third finger is on the fourth string on the second fret, just like a regular E minor or an E major, and then our fourth string, our fourth finger is on the third string on the second fret. So they're all on the second fret, and then strings two and one are played open. So again, we have six strings played open, second finger, fifth string, second fret, third finger, fourth string, second fret, fourth finger, or our pinky, uh, third string, second fret, Strings two and one are open. And uh, th this, this chord, uh, you're gonna use it a lot, but uh, you'll hear this, uh, people love to, right? They love to do the resolve thing or take it from the resolve, suspend it, and then bring it back. There's a lot you can do with this. It's very versatile. It's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful chord because you get the fullness of the guitar playing. All right, so that's E sus. So we learned D major seven, and we learned E sus. Now let's go ahead and go to F sharp minor. F sharp minor is gonna be the difficult chord in this lesson. There's usually one per lesson, uh, and this one is it. So we're gonna take our first finger, just like we did with the, the bar chords on the, uh, on that were based on the fifth string for the B minor, the B, and the C sharp minor, we're going to take our first finger, and this time we're going to lay it across all six strings on the second fret. You can see why I, I wait until the end, the very end, to teach this, this chord, because it takes a lot of hand strength, and I want, you to get, I want you to build up your hand strength while we're going through 
so you don't get discouraged and this chord is a lot easier to form here at the end of this series than at the beginning. So we're going to take our first finger, lay it across all six frets, and again, we're going to roll it backwards so that we're using the bony part of our first finger. The bony part of our first finger, we roll it backwards. So lay it across the second, the, all six strings on the second fret, and roll it backwards, and then test it. Make sure all six strings are playing. Then we're going to take fingers, finger three on the fourth fret of the fifth string, and finger four, our pinky, on the fourth string, also on the fourth fret. And then we're going to roll those two fingers forward. And I don't know if you noticed, but my finger kind of automatically laid down, my second finger automatically laid down on the first finger. If that happens with you, great. That'll help you squeeze those strings because this takes a lot of hand strength to do. But if you've been using, if you've been doing the tennis ball exercise, you remember the tennis ball exercise? If you've been doing the tennis ball exercise every day and you've been doing your finger exercises and you've been practicing all these other chords, you're gonna have the hand strength to do this. All right? So let's go over it again. First finger, second fret, across all six strings, and then roll that finger backwards. And then fingers three, finger three on the fifth string on the, on the fourth fret, finger four on the fourth string on the fifth fret, and then roll those forward. And you get a beautiful F sharp minor. That's the F sharp minor chord. So what did we learn so far? So far we learned D major seven. And we learned E sus. Then we learned F sharp minor. Now we're going to learn G5. And the way we're going to play G5 is we are going to take our second finger, we're going to place it on the sixth string on the third fret. Second finger, sixth string, third fret. And we're going to lay it, we're going to, we're going to hold that note down, but we are going to let our second finger touch the fifth string so it doesn't play. You hear that? We're going to let it touch so it doesn't play. Strings four and three are going to be played open. Then our third finger is going to be on the second string on the third fret instead of the first string. Second string, third fret. And our pinky is going to be on the first string on the third fret. So all these fingers are on the third fret and our second finger is touching the fifth string so it doesn't play. So when, when we strum all of it, it sounds like that. And the reason it's called G5 is because we have G, D, G, D, and G. And D is the fifth in the key of G. So G5, because there's only G and the fifth. That's it. All right. Those are the four chords for this week. Let's go over it again. We had D major 7, so that's the open fourth string and the first finger laid across the second fret of strings 3, 2, and 1. Then we did E suspended, and that is the sixth string is open, finger 2 on string 5, fret 2, finger 3 on string 4, fret 2, finger 4, our pinky finger, on string three, fret two, strings two and one are also open. We've got that beautiful E suspended chord. Then the hard chord, the F sharp minor chord, we're gonna take our first finger, lay it across all six strings at the second fret, roll it backwards, then fingers, finger three on fret four, on the fifth string, finger four on the fourth, on the uh, fourth string on fret four, strum all six, and we've got F sharp minor. Finally, we have G5, that's our second finger on the sixth string on the third fret, and that second finger touches the A string, string number five, so it doesn't play. Then we have string four is open, string three is open, 
Finger three is on string two, fret three. Finger four is on string one, fret two. Strum all six, only five of them play, and we have a G5. All right, that is 29 of the 30 chords to learn to play 99% of all the songs you're ever gonna want to learn how to play. You're almost there. One more chord to learn. We're gonna learn that in the very next lesson. That is gonna be F sharp major. And uh, until then, have fun and make music.